Hello, my thinkies, and welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Before we start, I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek of our September Mystery Kit thumbnail. Pre-sale will run till August 8th, so with pre-sale, you do get free shipping worldwide. Okay, let's start this Plan With Me video. So we will be using the last of the kits in my June... No. Oh my gosh, July Mystery Kit. So this is Mystery Kit B. It's a very beachy summer theme. So we're gonna use that for the last week of July because I feel like I have to use up all my summer kits before summer end. And here in Toronto, it's already rainy, gloomy. So <laughs> I'm just trying to get it all in the summer. Do you guys feel the same way as I do? Like hoarding 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 all different kits and then you know you only have only certain amount of weeks to work with and you have all these leftover kits that just does wouldn't work you know you wouldn't put a summer spread in a winter spread in a winter season so on and so forth but I tend to have that trouble here so those of you who just joined us now this is my July month last month view and I did a flip through video also I'll put the link down below again um, this was my vacation, summer vacation, so I used all these bright colors here. And I did a little memory keeping um, with these journal cards that I made. And then here is last week's spread using our July Mystery Kit A, because we're doing Kit B. Now that we are in August, this is my August monthly view using our August monthly mystery kits. And we will be planning on the 31st, not on, but from the 31st till the 6th of August. So let's start planning. As you can see here, I am using my Happy Planner Glossy Kit. We're going to start with the headers. This spread is going to be a scattered spread because I do want to change it up a bit and also master scattered planning too because it's easy when you do it in blocks like how I usually do it top is my today's middle is my decorative full section and then my bottoms are to do but sometimes I feel with the scatter it's actually a little bit prettier even though it's a no white space planning I feel even with the scattered there is some method to it or madness you could say that it's still organized so I trying to play around with my planner the next few weeks and you will see. Before I put the stickers, my header stickers or my date stickers onto my planner, I did put some date dots in so that I know I have the correct dates corresponding to the weekdays. <laughs> so once I've done that, I will usually place out all my full boxes so that I could get a sense of the color scheme go run to my cupboard and just pick out all the washi that matches so I do not really pre-plan my plan with me or pick out washies that will um, fit in this spread I usually do it when I do film I know which is really time consuming it just works for me because I think my mindset's already in that creativity so I just want to stick with it before I start anything. So here, as you can see, I picked out a few washi. I'm not going to use it all as always, but I'm just going to pick and choose and see which one will work well with the spread. Speaking about how I do my plan with me and film my plan with me, I was thinking of doing a non voiceover plan with me, like literally just straight recording while talking to you guys in the camera. <laughs> You took a bath, yay, good job, high five. There's a classic example why I don't just film and talk to you guys through the camera because my little ones would just interfere me every time. And I remember, I think it was just a year ago, way back when, there was one of the videos I was filming a plan with me and my daughter came in and she just starts doing, like pointing things on screen and asking to help. But anyways, what do you guys think? Should I just do a straight on recording and just non-stop, no editing, full plan with me video? Or do you guys prefer voiceover? Because with voiceover, it's easier. Well, not really easier. It's a bit more work, but it is um, shorter. The video will be a lot shorter than the actual live talk. So let me know. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, I think I might want to give it a try. I don't know if I should do it in the morning while they're awake or at night. Because if I do it at night, I will have to whisper and not 
speak that loud. So I don't know, give and take, but we'll see. I think I'll do it for, hmm, I think I'll do it for next week plan with me. <laughs> okay, enough of me chit chatting. So here I am just putting down a bottom washi here. This washi tape's actually from Recollection. It's one of their um, collection tube. It came in a tube, that's all I remember. And it does have a scrapbook page that, uh, that goes with this collection too. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been readjusting this washi tape, bottom washi tape for a few times. And thank God to fast forward, I'm just gonna forward this frustration. <laughs> of mine because I do want it straight so there we go okay as I mentioned before we are doing a scattered plan with me however I do always like my quote boxes to be in the center of the spread and to me Thursday middle section is the center of the spread for me because I don't know my eye always land on that page more than on the left page so I'm going to put my quote sticker there and work from here so I'm just going to do some scattering of this of all my full boxes. So with the kits, it's a mini weekly spread, mini weekly kit. So you do have five full boxes and the pot pattern. The pattern I'll be using is a diagonal zig, not zigzag, but just diagonal pattern. So it's going to be stickers from the up to the top and to the bottom. To make this a bit more organized, I'm going to put all my ombre heart check boxes underneath the full boxes so it has a certain pattern too. So then when the spread is done, you won't see it as a mumble jumbo type of spread that there is still some method. Mason's what? Mason's cutting off your, 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 your bag. My purse? Yeah. Okay, I'll be there. That's why I don't film my plan with me non-edited on camera. It's because of these little interruptions. So it's just literally been five minutes. And I think if this, if I do do a plan with me, like live a plan with me, I think the video will be very long because I'll be interrupted so many times. So here I am just placing my ombre heart chat boxes. So now you may see that it, it looks like as if the box is shorter than it is. It's the reason because you will be putting a header on top of these boxes. So that's why it looks like it's not as a size as a full box because it is a little bit shorter so that you can have different type of headers on top as you can see here. So before I do my today's, I'm going to work on the sidebar and also my weekends because it is blank. I'm going to pull out some scrapbook paper. So this is this scrapbook page is actually from the same scrapbook collection as that washi tape that I used at the bottom. So I'm going to use that for, I don't know, the sidebar or for the weekend, but I'm pretty sure I'll be using it for both. There's also this ombre. Um, I wouldn't say collage, but ombre mix of colors here that really matches my headers. I've cut the paper to size off camera as you can see here and I'm just readjusting to see how I like it. If I like it lighter to darker or maybe have the dark one at the bottom. I don't know. I'm just going to play around with this. As I usually mentioned before, I do like using double-sided tape because I do find it a lot stronger than your regular glue stick. So I'm going to just peel these back and tape the scrap of paper on top. Super easy because you could just trim it out after. So here I am just measuring out the boxes here. We know that it is um, 1.5 1.5 so times 2 that's 3 inches wide and 2.5 times 3 and 7 inches tall. So I'm just going to cut the paper into that size. And there you go and I'm just going to add my double side tape again and place it on top. Now my weekend section is done. I'm just going to take this page out so I could trim my sidebar. And there we go and I'm going to quickly add my weekend banner up there. 
here. This is actually the sidebar for the monthly view and I've made extras for you guys so that you guys could use it also on your weekly view. I don't know but my kids are so crazy about the drone movie and I was about to quote no sticker left behind so that's that's kind of a, a, a play on the quotes of trolls because I just watched that this morning with them. If you guys are just wondering how old my kids are, the oldest one is four and the youngest one is two. So they really enjoy the trolls. And also Boss Baby. Boss Baby was a huge hit to them too. Now to work on the rest of the blank boxes, which will be my today section. So before I do anything, I always make sure I put down my meal boxes. I wish with this, I could do it all in a straight line. Like I could have done it at the bottom of the page but it's okay, I'll just scatter it. Now on to my today's. So it may look like it's a no white space spread, but it is actually a white space spread, but there's just gonna be a little bit of white space left. But anyways, with Monday, um, it's my son's first week of camp again, so he's gonna start camp again on the 31st followed by a swim class after his camp and I have an appointment with my life lab with my life lab yeah with um, the lab to do some blood work for my doctor and on to Tuesday I have my kickboxing also I'm gonna call my doctor to see if he has the she has the result for my blood work not to mention August 1st is always the first day to do not to do but always the first day of the pre-sale that goes on for the September mystery kit Tuesday is my laundry day so I have to make sure that I do do my laundry that day forgot to add that Monday is garbage day so then here from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I don't know why I just scattered doing the days, but Wednesday I'm going to be my, it's going to be my design day. Then Friday that is for a filming plan with me's and then the Thursday box up there is also another design day and Thursday's groceries also. Next thing I want to fill in my to-do list on when I should fulfill my orders and when I'm going to head out to do mail, like mail out all the orders. And Friday I usually upload a plan with me video which will be this video that we are doing right now and also the star means that I have a workout to do but I don't have any more workout stickers and speaking of working out I did start doing well it's been over a month now that I've been doing kickboxing so I'm just gonna indicate that with some boxing glove icons that I made for myself but it will be in the store so I don't know if there's a lot of you guys do do kickboxing but it will be released in my new releases which is in two weeks that's right a new release mostly this new release would be on washi i did film a new release i think three weeks ago but then i got some more new products my new washi came in um, today that i've been working on for two months getting the design right so that finally it's here so i'm gonna um, work on that and it might take me for it might take me two weeks just to do the photos and the content not to mention I do have mystery kits um, shipping out next week too so super 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 busy but I love it because it's all planner related I'm just adding some icon stickers onto the full boxes quarter boxes or the to do's list Also going over everything that I did not miss anything for that for this week. So because that this weekend is long weekend in Canada, Civic holiday is on the 7th. We didn't really plan anything for the long weekend because we just had our summer vacation last week and I think we just need a rest from that staycation because <laughs> we did a lot at that time. But so I'm just going to leave this weekend blank because we have no plans. We might visit family. We don't know yet. We will see. So I decided to flip through my Mambi sticker book, quote book, to see if I could find any big quotes that I could just fit into that spot. Also found another quote sticker that I'm going to put at the top left hand corner of this well on the sidebar so there's this huge white space at the bottom of Friday that I want to have a sticker there just to cover the white space so I'm just flipping through the book I'm going to put some of this washi down as a backdrop or background for the sticker 
I am also going to tie in this confetti washi tape to the side bar so it ties in the whole spread. And finally, I have all these decorative stickers left on my freebies in the mystery kits, and also there's a few on um, the month that the monthly spread. As you can see, there's two leaves there that I didn't use for my monthly view. So I'm just gonna place this around my spread. And there we go. This week looks very beachy and tropical and I'm loving, loving, loving it. So I'm gonna use this journal card that also comes with my mystery kit. I'm gonna trace out the holes, punch it out, clip it out and put it in with my spread. I think it looks better in the middle like that, yes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video. I had so much fun doing the scatter and I will continue to do that for next week's spread. I so wish you guys a happy long weekend if you're Canadian and a happy weekend to all my pinkies and I will see you in my next plan with me video. Happy planning. Bye.